Hey guys, it's Steve here with the Cirrus Tech TV, back with another Linux tutorial video for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at using a VNC client to access our Proxmox Linux Mint virtual machines. I've recently taken using Proxmox for our virtual machines. As I do a lot of these videos, and I, I plan on doing a lot more of them, and I always like to start each video off with a fresh, clean install of Linux. That way, if there's any dependencies or anything that are required for whatever the tutorial happens to be for that day, um, I'm not going to skip over having to install them and you guys aren't going to miss anything. Now in the past I was simply using VMware on top of Linux Mint on my workstation to give myself a nice clean development environment every time I wanted to do a video. But what I quickly found as the videos got more complicated and as I'm doing more in the background, I was running out of resources on my workstation, so I needed to find a way to offload the virtual machines to something else so I could save the resources on my system for the actual content creation itself. So I was playing around a little bit and discovered Proxmox, fantastic bare metal hypervisor that I just have running now on an i5 vPro with four gigs of memory, which is more than enough to run a few Linux boxes. But what I found with using Proxmox is it's brilliantly simple to use. It's really easy to make a template of my clean Linux install and then just clone that every time I need a fresh install for a video. But what I quickly discovered is that the built-in console in Proxmox is not very good. It's quite laggy. Um, it causes me a lot of issues. There's no sound. The video is choppy when I play something on YouTube through it. So I began to search around for a better solution. Um, and there's many solutions out there that I can use and I've tried them all. I tried real VNC, I tried tight VNC, I tried X11 VNC, I tried Remina. They all have advantages, they all have weaknesses. Um, for the most part, no sound is a big problem. None of those really supported sound and uh, Remina looked the best but the video was choppy. But after some more looking around, I, I discovered No Machine, and I tried that one, and so far it is absolutely fantastic. Um, and in all of my testing, it's worked very well for me so far. So that's the VNC I'm going to walk you guys through installing today and show you how I set that up to access my Linux VMs. So if you're ready, let's get started. So I've opened the Proxmox console here. We're just going to use the built-in one real quick um, to install No Machine, just for simplicity's sake. And no machine has made it really easy to install. All we need is our web browser. And a quick Google search for no machine brings up their website. It automatically detects our operating system. Download now for Linux version 5.0.43. And then we'll see on the download page, we are running 64 bit. And the version we want is the 64-bit for Linux Debian package. Because we are running Linux Mint, it is Debian-based. Scroll down. You can see there even something as simple as scrolling through a web page really tests this VNC connection. But we're going to solve that here in a minute. We're going to hit download. We're just going to open it directly with the package installer. Most of the time I will save the file, then manually install it from the terminal window. But to be honest, this built-in VNC is driving me nuts and I just want the fastest, simplest way to get this done. And opening it with the package manager is definitely the way to do it. You want to install it from the command lines, they do give you the commands right here to do it. You can just copy and paste those if you like. Click install package. And just wait a few minutes for the package manager to do its thing. We'll need our root password. Once it's installed, go ahead and close the window. We're done with the package manager and down here in the taskbar you can see the brand new icon for no machine. So now it's running. So the next step is to repeat that installation process 
on your workstation machine. I'm not going to go over that. It's exactly the same process if you're running Linux Mint. If you're running Windows, then it's the exact same process. Just download the Windows binary. But go ahead and pause the video, then go ahead and run through those steps on your workstation. Install no machine on your workstation. And then when you're ready, come on back and we'll show you the connection. Once you have no machine running on your workstation, just go ahead and open it. It's going to run you through a quick wizard that's got a quick tutorial. And the one thing I really like about no machine is it actively scans the network and looks for VNC servers it can connect to. And in this case, as soon as I got to the uh, main interface, you can see here it's already detected our Proxmox Linux Mint box, and it's got it all set up there for us to connect to. So we just highlight that, click connect. It's the first time we've connected to it, so it's going to ask about the certificate. We're going to just go ahead and click yes. We're going to put in the password and username for our user account, and we're going to save that so we don't have to put it in again. Click OK. Wait a moment for it to connect. It's going to run you through a quick set of tutorials and instructions if this is the first time you've done it. Here's the audio setup, my favorite part about the GNOME machine. Screen setups. And there we go. So once GNOME machine is connected to our Proxmox VM, you can go ahead and make a couple of adjustments to make it look a little bit better. You'll notice unlike most VMs, there's no toolbar hanging down from the top that you can pin. If you're looking for the settings in GNOME machine, Move your mouse cursor to the top right hand corner, you'll see it peels back kind of like a piece of paper. Click on that and that's going to bring up all of your tools for making adjustments to the VNC client. First thing we're going to do is change the display settings. I'm going to crank that up for better quality. Set it for 1280 by 800 widescreen. And done, and done. Now we've got a much sharper picture on the screen. And you'll see now that we're using it, how much faster this is than the built-in Proxmox VNC. Load up a YouTube video here. That's something from Tech Syndicate. They were the guys that pointed me towards Proxmox in the first place. Thanks to another one of their wonderful videos. And as you can see, my favorite feature, we've got audio. Well, you're here through the VNC, We're all still which is something a lot of the other ones lacked. Just as you left it. I'm stuck all over the desk. What is this? No. We're going to build a computer. Crank the settings up to 1080p HD. If it's your first time ever building a machine, welcome. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. If you're a former console gamer, welcome to the club. It's, it's a nice, happy family, isn't it? Isn't it? And as you can see, <laughs> you guys do it's have nice and the smooth when scrolling. Pretty good a for a VNC remote connection. Quickly. One thing I'm gonna do. So overall, very happy with No Machine VNC. It's fast, it looks good. It has sound, which is important. And that's it guys, just a real quick walkthrough on installing No Machine VNC on Linux Mint so we can access our Proxmox virtual machines or for any other reason why you would need to access another Linux Mint box. Um, I've tried a few other VNCs, No Machine is definitely my favorite, it's the only one that can keep up with video and offers really good audio support as well. So for the time being until Spice comes along in a little bit more refined of a format, which is supposed to support all those things as well. I'm going to continue to use No Machine. It is free to use, so that's fantastic. 
So it should make producing these Linux tutorial videos for you guys a whole lot quicker and allow me to get through the workflow much faster. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that like button down below. I appreciate this support. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, if you want to see more of my upcoming Linux videos. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.